Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a get ready with me and we're gonna try out a bunch of new products. I have a lot here. I have some powders from By Terry, these beautiful roses, you gotta see, you just have to see these. Look how gorgeous. This, oh, beautiful. I have a new Dior bronzer. I have the new Sicily powder, a Bare Minerals highlight. We are going to get into a big Stila eyeshadow palette. I have Hourglass on my lips. I have all the new things to try out today. I've been saving them for you guys. So if you want to see how I created this look, what worked and what didn't, just keep watching. Starting off, I have zero new base products, so I went in and started with my normal thing, which is the normal primers as well as this Tarte Face Tape Foundation. Do you see? I am all the way up to here, like it pushes it up, and I am almost out of it. And then Giorgio Armani Concealer, and I am baking with my Huda Powder. Now I do have a new powder that I'm really excited to try. I can't believe that I have not dug into this. I have held out for this video. It's from Sicily. If you're familiar with my channel at all, you guys know how much I love the loose powder in 01 IRC. Well, I found this and I just immediately grabbed it. I've had this for a while, but I haven't touched it. I've been good. I wanted to wait for this video. So this is called the Blur expert and it is from Sicily. It's the perfecting a smoothing powder and this one is pressed. My favorite pressed powder is from La Mer. This is the pressed and it's translucent right here. This one, let's see what she looks like. So this one definitely has some color to it. I'm hoping that it doesn't deepen up my foundation too much. Let's see. Ooh. There, it doesn't even feel like a powder. Okay, hold on. All right, let me pick out a brush to use and I'm going to set the rest of my face using this. No smell. I'm gonna use my large powder brush from Sonia Kashuk and I'm gonna get this on and just press this into the skin. This has like no kick up at all. <laughs> There's no kick up. It's very smooth on the skin. It almost doesn't even feel like it doesn't even feel like powder. It feels almost like I have not set my face, but I know that I have powder all over because it has changed the color of my foundation. So I'm going to bring this down my neck to add some color. <laughs> I'm touching up my bake because I am not going to do the rest of my face until after I have done my eyes. So I got that done. Get that off my nose. Now. I mentioned that if I saw this palette in person, I might end up grabbing it, but I wasn't going to get it right away. Well, I saw it in person. I didn't have time to swatch it or anything. I didn't even have time to stop and grab it, but I did end up ordering this. I think I got it off of Nordstrom, actually, and it is the Stila, what is the number? Happy Hour Eyeshadow Palette. This thing is hefty. It reminds me so much of, like, the... Pat McGrath, like the way, how heavy it is and the style of the palette and everything and then even the shadows on the inside. It definitely just reminds me of a Pat McGrath style palette. But I'm gonna go in and we're going to dig into this. I have no idea what I'm going to do, but I'm not gonna do anything too over the top. I'm not gonna use a ton of shades. I just wanna do something, I don't know what. Let me zoom you guys in and we will get into this. Stelazi sent over some brushes and I wanna use those. So this is the Color Blend L211. I'm gonna take this and this shade right here. I am going to start directly into my crease, like right, actually right above my crease. And I'm gonna go in circular motions to blend this shade out. I want to bring this all the way from the inner corner, pretty high up in the transition area, all the way to the outer edge. I 
L216 and this little matte purple shade. I'm gonna go directly into the crease this time and then slowly work it upward, but not as high as I went with the last shade. I'm trying to decide which of the colors I wanna use. I was really drawn to this one, which is really pretty. And then this one, those have a lot of sparkle to them. And then I really like this blue, but now when I touch the blue, there's not a lot going on. So that makes me wanna test it out. So I am gonna test that shade out. I'm going in with the W21 because if this is a dud shade, I want to know based off of <laughs> it. Uh, I don't want to use a different brush and not know that. That's not good. That is not good. I'm going to switch right on over to this shade right here. Same brush. I am just packing this all over the lid, bringing it up to the crease. I'm sticking with the same shade, but now using an L218. And I'm just going to bring this into the crease a little bit. I don't want too much there, but I want to have this kind of brought up to look a little more smoky. Same brush, but now I'm going into the deeper purple right below it. And I'm going to take this on the outer portion of the eye, just kind of packing it there first and then blending it upward. Hopefully I don't regret doing this, but I want to take this blue right here as well. And I really want to concentrate this really only on this outer V area right here. I'm just kind of stamping it into place. I'm impressed with these shades so far. Just that one blue. Going back in with that e -sum brush and I'm just tapping the shade that's on the lid and pick up anything extra. I just want to make sure this blends out really well so this is in a harsh area right here. MAC 242 and the lightest shade in the palette. Highlight the brow arch. I'm going to wipe away my bake and all that fallout. Stilazzi L210 and this shade, I'm gonna use this wet for the lower lash line. I'm using it wet to help with any fallout. As you can see, that just goes on really well. That color's really pretty, nice and wet. Oh, that's gorgeous. Picking up a little bit of the blue. I'm just gonna put this right at the outer corner. I'm gonna give this blue one more shot, Stilazzi Mini Definer, and I'm going to use it wet. I still feel like that is just like nothing. I'm gonna go in with this shade instead. Stilazzi L215, and I'm just going to go run right along the edges before I finish off with some mascara and lashes. I finished off the eye look with a pair of Kiss Ritzy lashes and then a Milk Boss liner on the top inner rim. Now let's go ahead and finish off the face. I have always I don't know why but I've always wanted to try a Dior bronzer but I have never bought one 
Finally got one, and this is the Dior Mineral Nude Bronze Wild Earth 01. I don't know what it is that made me finally go out and get one, but here we are. This is it right here, and I'm going to use another Stelazi brush. This is the, it's a blush brush, but I have this guy here, but I feel like it's an angled brush, but I feel like it's, I'm scared it's going to be too dense and I might pack on too much color. So I'm gonna use the blush brush to apply the bronzer. There's no rules in makeup, remember? <laughs> mm, it has that Dior smell. This is blending out beautifully and I really like the color of it. I think it's beautiful. Now it's time for blush, and Laura Mercier just sent me this beautiful package, and it has these two blushes in there, and I don't know which one to use. This one is Fresco. Let's see. It's got a little bit of powder on it. This one is on the more natural side, and then this one over here, I've already peeked at this. This is Peach. And like, I really want to go in with peach. I really, 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 really do. But I feel like I have used a lot of peach blushes recently. So I'm going to try the nude shade and go for that. And we'll try this one some other time. Or maybe I'll mix the two. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So I'm going to stick with the same brush. Wipe off on my pants any excess bronzer. And just go straight in. And this has what looks, ooh, that has like a lot of pigment. Whoa. This has like tiny little sparkles in there. Let's see what it looks like on the skin. Oh, this is, yeah, very, very natural. But, be, oh, that's really pretty though. That's, that, that's beautiful. I think I'm just going to stick with this color. I'll try the peach one out some other time and let you guys know. It's really pretty. It's like a bronzed kind of look goes really well with that bronzer. And this brush is really soft, but like not too soft. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Now for my highlight. I have been using this on the DL. <laughs> I got really excited. I bought this during the Sephora sale. This is the Bare Minerals Highlighter Endless Glow Illuminator, and I have the shade Free. I've been, I'm telling you, I've been using this. This is really pretty. I'm not sure if this brush is going to work to apply it, but we're going to try it anyway. This is the Large Fluff from Stelazi. If you can see, I've been kind of going around the Bare Minerals, so it will still kind of look new, but yeah. And then I'm going to take this and just highlight. Oh, it's such a pretty color. I really, oh, it's so good. It is so good. Do you see this glow? Do you see it? I mean, I know I'm about to take it down like 20 notches, <laughs> but oh, it is so glowy. It's so pretty. It is so pretty. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Before I go in and buff everything, I do have a new powder. I am going to go in with my Hydra Powder from By Terry on a Sonia G Detail Pro. And I like taking this right on my pore area, right at the edge of my highlight so that it softens it up. And this just makes my pores and everything just so much better, but it does not dry them out. I wish I could set with this, but for whatever reason, it always darkens my concealer. But using it like this as like a finishing touch is, it's perfect. I'm also going to take a little bit of this right in the center of my forehead. And I'm not using a lot of powder. I'm using very little. And I know you see it kicking up, but this is just because this powder is so fine. And yet another new powder. This one is also from By Terry. As soon as I saw these on the Beautylish website, I was like, 
done buying them. <laughs> One of them that actually came in busted, completely shattered, but they sent, Beautylish is so good about that. They just sent one right back out. I have two different colors here. It is the By Terry Brightening CC Powder, and it's a glowing powder with rosehip oil. This one is number two rose elixir. This one is a pink shade. Let me see if I can get it open. This one right here. And then, mm, why do I smell? And then I have the white one, which is Immaculate Light. This one right here. I think because of this look that I have, I wanna go in with this pink one and just kinda of dust this all over and see what happens. Sonia G Sculpt 2, and I'm just gonna pick up some product. And we're going to buff this. Oh, this is, oh, this is pretty. <laughs> There's two other colors. Do you see how this is like smoothing out my skin, but also adding, <laughs> Like it smooths out the highlighter, but makes it radiant still at the same time. Oh, this is so pretty. I'm gonna have to buy, there's a, like a tan colored one and then an even darker one. So there's several different shades. I think I'm gonna be buying the third shade. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a brand new bottle of my Watermelon Glow Mist, but... I have been asked several times to try this out and then there is an option for deluxe sample. I was like, score! So this is the Bare Mineral Set Hydrate and Glow Mist. So we're just going to try this out. Like I said, this is just a little deluxe sample. Go test spray. Okay. Now it's time for the last step. We need to do the lips. Now I was gonna do like the whole shebang, liner, lipstick, yada, 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 but I don't have new liner or lipstick, so I thought I would just go in with a new gloss and just finish off the look with a gloss. Sometimes I think that is really just really pretty, especially when you have a dramatic eye like this. So I have, I did give in, I, get, I bought two during the sale. These are the new glosses from Hourglass, the Unreal High Shine Volumizing Lip Gloss. I have the shade Child, which I don't actually have right here. It's in a purse somewhere, and I, yeah, I was tired of hunting it down by the time I got to the video. But I do have this shade Sublime. So we will put Sublime on. This is what it looks like right here. I'm just going to pop this guy or girl on this gloss. It doesn't really have a ginger, I don't think, but you know, whatever. And this is the finished look. So let me go ahead and go over all the products and tell you what I think about them. First, I'm gonna start with the gloss. I have used these several times. I have used Child a little bit more, obviously, because that's the one that's ran away, joined the circus somewhere. But I do like these. I feel like they are just right. They give the perfect amount of pigmentation. They're not sticky, but they're not really like, they're not gonna slip all over your lips either. I really like the wand because it has like this paddle type of, I don't know, it's just what I look, it's flat and it looks like a paddle. And the feeling is not too much. So it has almost like a mint type of feel, but the only way I can think to describe it is like you know how double mint gum has like the, a light mint and then the five gum, like I don't know if it's called five or I just remember having a big five on it and it has like all these different flavors. That is really strong and minty and then double mint I feel like is less minty. That's how I feel about this. Like it's a comfortable minty type of feel. So if you don't like like the tingly feel, it's not tingly, it's just slightly minty. It is not bothersome at all. And I like both of the colors that I got. This one being Sublime. I think it's called, yeah, Sublime and then Child. Love them both, they're both gorgeous. Now, let's start off from beginning to end because I will forget things in between. Okay, so the first thing was the Sicily powder. This is stunning. I think my skin, when I put this on, just looked flawless. Like it was just airbrushed, it didn't have as much of a glow, I feel like the La Mer has or radiance to it. 
but it has more smoothing effect, a more perfecting kind of effect to it. This is unreal. And if you use a little, just a little amount of this, it almost feels like there's not powder on your face at all. This, there's no kick up. It feels like it's nothing, but then you see it on my fingers. So <laughs> I think that if you use a soft brush, you're not going to get a lot of pick up of product on your face. So if you're somebody who doesn't like powder, but you want just like a little bit, you could use it that way. But the brush that I use, the one from Sonia Kasha, picked it up just fine and I just pressed it into the skin. This is beautiful. It is not as radiant as the loose powder. In fact, there's like no shimmer or anything in this. It's just really pretty on the skin. My only complaint would be that it did darken up my foundation. But I'm go it's going into summer, so I don't care. I do think that they should have different shades of this available, but it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. If you are dry skin and you want to try out a powder that doesn't have any glitter in it, no noticeable type of shine, this is stunning. I'm really happy with this. And then what did I use? Okay, the eyeshadow palette. <laughs> I have to go in order. I'm telling you, I will forget. So this is a kind of a hit animus. I really like the shimmery shades in here. These, especially when I used them wet, like underneath, I can see so much more sparkle in them when they're used wet. I'm, I'm really happy with those. But the fact that this, I don't know what this is, and I'm going to just go to town on this guy right here. There's like nothing. It's nothing. I don't understand. I feel like this is an absolute dud. Let me see the one up top. Nope, this one's softer, so there's pigment there. And then this one, there's still pigment there. And I think that maybe that, that's just one dud in the palette. I don't know. I haven't used all of them. The mattes that I used blended out really nicely. I really liked the shimmers that I used. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I really wish that this color would have been better because I feel like this is the pop in the palette. So it's disappointing to me. I don't know if I can scrape off the top and maybe, I don't know, because I already feel like it's getting hard pan. If I just take my finger and just lightly or normal go over it and not press, that's what I get. So glittery formula in here, shimmer formula, whatever it is, Beautiful. Matte's beautiful. This shade is an absolute dud. So that's my first impression on that. I am very happy with this bronzer. I think this is beautiful. This is definitely going to be top drawer status because I like the way it looked on my skin. It didn't patch up anywhere. It didn't look dry. Nothing. I like the color of it. Again, it's a little bit warmer. We're going into summer and I'm just, yeah. Do your smell though. If fragrance bothers you, this one might bother you but I really like the way that it smells and I like this sleeker compact and then for the blush uh which color did I this not this one fresco from Laura Mercier this is beautiful absolutely beautiful I feel like even with the tiny little shimmers in here I don't feel like I have a bunch of texture on my skin or anything I I just like the way it looks I think I'm going to end up liking peach more just because this is I love peachy tones, so I'll let you guys know whenever I use this, but thank you, Laura Mercier. These are stunning. All right, I'm thinking blush, highlighter. All right. <laughs> now, like I said, I have been using this on the DL. I was even messaging some of my friends, like, go get this highlighter because it's really pretty. <laughs> so the Bare Minerals Highlighter in the shade Free, this is it's just really, really pretty. It reminds me a little bit of Becca, but Becca, I, I don't use those anymore. This is like the reinvented Becca formula. This is what I wanted Becca to be now. Whereas Becca, when it first came out, was like huge, da 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 da, -da. That was like the only highlighter. I feel like this is the updated version texture wise. I just think it's so pretty. I like the color. I like its intensity. I just think it's absolutely stunning. So I'm happy that I grabbed that on the, with the sale. I got the 20% off. And then, uh, okay, bye Terry. <laughs> My mind, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. So obviously I haven't used Immaculate Light, which is the white one. I will update you guys with that. I think that would probably be really great for just like a subtle glow in spots, like just adding it, like if you wanted to add a little glow on your forehead or nose, chin area, but you don't wanna put it all over, I'm guessing that white one would be really pretty for that. But this pink used for buffing, 
it brightened up my skin it smoothed out the skin and it's just it's really pretty like I said I bought both of these and I think I'm going to go ahead and buy the third shade there's four different colors if I am not mistaken okay now spritz the bare minerals dewy mist it's just not my, I wish I had used this. Like if it isn't bad, I don't think it's bad at all. The spritzer on this, if it is the same as the one that's on the actual bottle, not a fan of it. It's kind of average. Uh, it didn't leave any huge dots or anything, but it's still not as fine as this. This is like a fog, literally just like a fog and a perfect spray on the face and the perfect glow, the perfect amount of hydration. I will be surprised if I find anything that beats that. And this is good. I like the, I mean, my skin feels nice. Um, I do feel a little bit like I feel, I feel like I can feel this on my skin, whereas I can't feel the watermelon glow. But I wouldn't suggest anybody not buy this. I just like my watermelon glow better. The Stilazzi brushes. So Stilazzi has sent me a bunch of stuff, and I'm still going through things. I still need to use some eyeshadow palettes. I have used some of their lipsticks. You guys know I love sending nudes. I bought that one at IMATS, and oh, it's one of my favorites. But they sent me these. I've got these over here as well, and there's just I'm kind of working my way through all the stuff that they sent me. But these I am impressed with. Uh, was there another one that I used? I'm probably just imagining things. They have natural hair and synthetic hair versions. All of the ones that I used today, I was really impressed with. I really like this brush right here. This is the Precision Crease Blender L216. This one I loved. This, like all of them really, they all just worked really, really well. So I was really impressed with these. Let me think, is there anything else? Oh, lip gloss I already told you guys about. So I think that is everything. If I miss something, always miss something just leave it down below and I'll let you guys know what I think about it but this is it let me know what you think what do you like what do you not like what are you feeling what you're not feeling and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys